The telemedicine program is already two years old, and its birthday is being marked with an unusual event. It's a concert performed by a chamber music orchestra at Armenia's National Gallery, providing a good opportunity to underscore the link between art and medicine, and to showcase the accomplishments of the past two years. The telemedicine program is made possible by the Eastern United States affiliate of the Hayastanal Armenian Fund. Lisa Stepanyan, the executive director of the affiliate, says the goal has been to adapt the global phenomenon of telemedicine in Armenia. We didn't create the model. It was already there, used across the world. We just adopted it and must work on making it widely available, because we see how effective it can be. Along with the numerous projects it implements in Armenia and Artsakh, the Hayastan Al Armenian Fund considers telemedicine and the continued education of healthcare providers through video conferencing as vitally important objectives. In the past two years, close to 30 video conferences were organized. Continuing education, which has been used for decades in the United States, is a key component of medicine. There can be no development without it. As we've seen, continuing medical education and telemedicine can be particularly valuable in a country like Armenia, which has so many outlying regions that can benefit from those resources. Online learning for Armenian healthcare providers encompasses almost all medical specialties, including cardiology, neurology, nutrition, oncology, endocrinology, and infectious diseases. Video conference participants include physicians from throughout Armenia and Artsakh. The nature of medicine is such that a doctor must aspire to perfection throughout his or her life. Whether we're talking about a doctor in Yerevan, a remote region of Armenia, or a European city, continuing education and the constant improvement of skills are mandatory for everyone. Another advantage is that we get to meet each other through video conferencing. Doctors from abroad meet doctors here in Yerevan, and this creates a network. Maybe tomorrow someone will contact us with a question, or we might turn to a doctor in Israel, and Israel might contact a doctor in the United States. Many Armenian doctors are unable to go to Western countries for their recertification. Our program helps fill that gap by providing our physicians with continuing education. During a recent video conference, doctors abroad suggested an advanced procedure for the fast treatment of two teenagers who were gravely injured in a bus explosion, which had occurred on Yerevan's Halabian Street in April 2016. They suggested the vacuum-assisted closure, or VAC procedure, which drains fluids from wounds and reduces wound size, greatly improving the healing process. My son Roland's wounds were extremely big, and the procedure helped him a lot. The boys recovered very fast. There was scarring, of course, but they recuperated within only 20 days. The telemedicine program also benefited the wounded of the four-day war. In one video conference, Israeli university professor Shimon Rodskin shared a new method for repairing a major ligament that could be torn as a result of a gunshot wound or other trauma. We were interested to learn about the latest approaches and methods with regard to treating war injuries. After we described the specific injuries of some of our patients, Dr. Rodskin suggested appropriate treatments. The second topic we were interested to learn more about was the rehabilitation of patients who have undergone surgery. Thanks to the ongoing support of the highest on all Armenian fund, the telemedicine program is poised to bring vast improvements to Armenian medicine.